Welcome guys to Hope Sunday. We are so excited to share this video with you. Testimonies from local people whose lives have been transformed by God's love and grace. And I'm here to tell you that nobody is beyond God's reach of love. Enjoy guys. Do you really believe that God is who he says he is? Do you believe that he can transform anybody's life, no matter how low they have gone? That person that's been to jail multiple times, rehab multiple times, you've been praying for them for years. Do you believe that God is not finished with them? Well, he wasn't finished with these people. Possibly the changing point for my relationship with God was this last time that I went back to treatment after being sober for a year, after the death of my husband, being in and out of jail, that I was just so broken and so sick and tired of being sick and tired that I remember um, being in that treatment center and just crying out to God like, please help me, I can't do this anymore and I didn't know what else to do. So broken and so tired of doing the same old thing and getting the same results. So for me, I think my relationship with God has been a back and forth thing. Many seeds were planted and it seems like the closer I would get to God sometimes, I would always seem to fall back and go back to the life of, of drugs. I think it's important to understand that our relapse doesn't define us and just because we've made one mistake doesn't mean that we throw in the towel. I was always going out and just uh, always trying to feel, feel. Fast forward to, you know, being at that place I was at of just, there's got to be more to this. I uh, actually cried out to God once and that I just wanted a family, I wanted to settle down, I didn't want to keep doing this. Uh, that's all I did, and I ended up meeting my wife at the age of 25 in a bar of all places. In 2008, I was in a severe uh, motorcycle accident, and um, I got hooked on pain pills. But uh, right after I started using that, I ended up overdosing, and my wife ended up, um, doctors telling her, you know, the EMT guys telling her something else was going on. I left her with no other choice uh, but to do exactly what my mom did to my dad, was leave him, to divorce him. As I started working recovery through this program, we started talking again for my son's sake, and we actually started seeing each other again. But at this time now, my wife had uh, started going to church, and she told me uh, as I was getting ready to get out of recovery, uh, she said, uh, I go to church now, so if you want any part of this relationship, uh, that's what you'll be doing. And I said, okay. I ended up getting with a buddy that offered me a job that somebody I used to party with. I was setting myself up for failure, which is exactly what happened. I heard about uh, Jesus uh, when I was at church for that month I got out when my wife said I had to go to church. And um, the craziest thing, like God just does what God does. Uh, I am a believer in Jesus Christ and I stand on that he is my recovery. Uh, what he did for me is when I got in the jail that last time, there was three guys that were in there with me that were reading the Bible, they were doing Bible studies, which is just really crazy to think about in jail. But uh, it definitely does happen. I ended up seeing the chaplain giving my life to Jesus. Uh, fast forward two years, uh, I'm actually now, like I said, a pastor. Uh, I do outreach ministry. Uh, I oversee a food pantry at our local church. And uh, my wife and I also uh, co-lead a uh, Celebrate Recovery ministry. So here's what it is you can do to get in the fight and help this community be transformed. First and foremost, continue praying, believing that God is gonna do what only 
God can do and transform the lives of his children. And secondly, there's a whole bunch of amazing information and resources available. You can find it all in your bulletin. I would encourage you to share it online, share it with loved ones and encourage them to get connected and get the help that they need. And he is gonna use them in this same community to be leaders helping other people out of the darkness.